Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain virtual function in C++ programming. So first of all, we will see why there is a need of virtual function. So in this example, uh, we will use inheritance concept. So first of all, include header file. So we will create a simple file. X create class one, and in this class we will define a simple function void show and let's print something to uh, demonstrate that this is a function of class 1 so let's print class 1 show function and now we will make one more class class 2 we will make this class as a child class of class 1 And in this class as well, we will write one function show class to show function. So here we are having two classes. Uh, one is class one, one is class two. These classes are in parent-child relationship, and both classes are having same name function. So now there is a property in inheritance that pointer of parent class can store address of child class object. So first create a pointer of parent class and uh, sorry we are creating object of parent and child both class. Okay and then we will use that property. That property says that pointer of parent class can store address of child class as well. So in this pointer in this pointer p first we will store address of ob1 which is the object of class 1 and with the help of this pointer we will call show function so let's see the execution then we will see which function will be called first one or second one okay compiled so class 1 show function so our pointer right now our pointer is having address of class 1 object and if we are making a call to show function it is calling class 1 show function so now let's uh, try to change this address now let's store address of class 2 object so now what we are assuming that this pointer is now having address of object of class 2 so now it should call show function of class 2 but if you will compile it again if you will run it again it is making a call of for class 1 function so this is a abnormal behavior this is unexpected behavior what we want that whenever this point is having ad address of class 1 object at that time show function of class 1 is should be called and in case when this point is having class 2 object in that case class 2 show function should be called but what is actually happening here is that uh, whenever uh, we are calling a function compiler is actually looking for the data type of pointer only so in both cases we are having this point of data type 1 so in every case it is making call for class 1 show function now we want to change this behavior what we want we want expected output so for that case what we have to do we have to make this function virtual so virtual function actually allow a programmer to call a function with the help of pointer of parent class by storing address of different different object so here uh, we made this function as a virtual function now whenever we will make a call to show function with help of pointer now object will be checked what type of object actually stored in pointer p so and this decision will be actually taken at runtime so this is also known as runtime polymorphism so now if you will see the uh, output of our program let's clear the screen So now actually it is making a call to class 2 function. So now compiler is not going for data type of 
pointer p at compilation time no decision is taken at run time when this objects are created this p is actually having address of object 2 so now pointers value actually checked uh, whose address they are storing so if they are storing address of class 2 object class 2 function will be called if they are storing class 1 object address let's make it ob1 so now they will call class 1 show function okay so this is now they are calling class 1 function so this concept uh, is actually also known as runtime polymorphism so virtual function so virtual function actually used to demonstrate that concept thank you very much for watching